Good evening, I'm Brian Reagan. This is Tyler Kelly. And um, we welcome you to our Twilight Talks. Tonight we're in Luke 13, 1 through 5. There were present at that season some who told him about the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifices. And Jesus answered and said to them, Do you suppose that these Galileans were worse sinners than all other Galileans because they suffered such things? I tell you, no, but unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. Or those 18 on whom the tower in Siloam fell and killed them? Do you think that they were worse sinners than all other men who dwelt in Jerusalem? I tell you, no, but unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. All right. So, um, this is a happy, cheerful passage. In some ways. Repent or else you perish. So, if you repent, you won't perish. See, it's happy. So what does this have to do with <clears throat> Jesus asks a question. Do you think that because the vicissitudes of life happened to these people that somehow they were worse than anybody else? Jesus says no. There are some people in this world right now making a ton of money hand over fist for doing nothing, for doing stupid things, or for being evil. Okay. Um, some clown going on TikTok for 30 seconds and, you know, getting all kinds of influencer bonuses. Seriously? They're doing nothing. They're not producing anything. What does that tell you? That tells you our society is vacuous. Mm -hmm. You say, what? Empty, hollow, shallow, got no substance in it. Don't think that because people are filling their lives with foolishness and being rewarded for it by the kingdom of the devil, that that's a smart path. You say, but, no. You can look through the scripture time and time again, you'll see where the kingdom of God keeps winning out. Keeps winning out. What makes the difference? People of God who take the word of God, believe the word of God, activate the word of God in their life and walk by faith. That when they're wrong, they repent and they get back on track. That was the hallmark of the life of David. He took the word of God, he believed the word of God, he took action on the word of God. He lived by faith. He trusted in God. He made some mistakes but he repented he got back on track and he continued to thrive and do well um, Hezekiah Jehoshaphat Asa Joash Josiah I'm missing a couple others even Jehu for crying out loud and he was in the northern kingdom he was a just barely almost kind of sort of their guy kind of sort of yeah, he had word from God. He believed it. He took action on it. He prospered. I became king in the first place. Yeah. Okay. So, the most important place for you to look is at yourself. Not in the vain way that people today do. Like, In the real way. Are you in line with God's word? If not, get there. And then, make plans to come to services this Sunday. You say, I'll just watch it online. Hey, if you can go to the grocery store and a dozen other places, you can come assemble with us. But if you choose not to, then, yeah, we're still glad to have you with us online, but we'd rather have you with us in person. Anything else, my brother? No, sir. Well, tell them what time and wish them a good weekend. 9.30 at the Lake Butler Church of Christ in Lake Butler, Florida for our morning Bible class and then 10.30 for our worship service. Other than that, have a good weekend.